right, guys, welcome to another episode of Tug's Talks, where we are training up Generation Z and our students beyond Generation Z. I have Ms. Rachel Enfield with us. She has been with a family of educators and, well, I guess business people, and they're just a really fabulous family. So I know that Ms. Rachel is going to meet Ms. Laurel, her sister, today. And um, I guess we'll see you guys and hear about more on early childhood education later on. Sounds great. We're looking forward to it. Hello, class. Today I am with Miss Laurel Infield, Associate Principal at Alchesay High School, and she's going to tell you about the program that she's offering at the high school. So stay tuned. So, Miss Infield, during this interview, we have a series of three questions we'd like for you to discuss with us. And the first question is, why is early childhood education such an important part of society? Well, for one, when, when I talk to my students about teaching early childhood, it's not just whether or not you are going to be a teacher of young children. You, at some point in your life, may become a parent to a child. And I believe the most important job that we will ever do in our lifetimes is to be a parent to the future generations. So the information you would learn in your early childhood class it doesn't pertain just to the children in our in Head Starts or daycares or preschool programs across the nation. It pertains to the children that you will come across in your lifetime, whether it be your little brothers and sisters, your nieces and nephews, your sons or daughters. All of these children will be a part of your life and you need to make sure that you have the skills to raise them, to educate them, and to prepare them to be the best members of society they can be as they get older. And that's what you're gonna learn in early childhood. In early childhood, you're also gonna learn things such as um, being CPR and first aid certified. You get that training um, and get that CPR certification when you're a junior or senior in the program. Um, you also have the opportunity to get college credit while you're a junior or senior in the program. So early childhood is more than babysitting and changing diapers. Early childhood is training our future leaders and, our, and, our, and the people who are gonna take care of us when we get old. Ms. Infield, how has early childhood education changed today? The way it's changed is early childhood education is not about babysitting. We don't sit on babies. We educate them, we care for them. We are looking at forming their entire being from um, their social development, which includes the feelings and the relationships they have with, the, with others, their emotional development, how they feel about themselves, how they feel about their families, how they feel about their friends, their fears, their likes and dislikes, their physical development, what they're able to do with their bodies, such as riding a bike or holding a pencil, and then their cognitive development, how their brain develops. So early childhood has changed in that we focus on the whole child. We don't just babysit. We're educators, we're professionals, and we provide for the well-being of children. Ms. Infield, for those students who are looking to early childhood education as a career path, what would be your best piece of advice? First off, um, to work with young children, to work with our littlest humans, you have to have a certain personality type. For one, you need to be silly. You, you, you need to love kids, but you need, you need to be able to act the class clown. You, you, you are going to sing and dance and you're gonna finger paint, you're gonna get dirty. You have to like hugs because little children like hugs. Um, you know, to these little children, you're the most important thing besides their families. And so when you come in, you have to have that personality that, you know, I'm going to hug the kids as I walk in and then I am going to, um, sing with them. I'm going to dance with them. I'm going to be able to, you know, get on the floor and build blocks with them and shoot baskets with them and all of those things. So you need to have the right personality and the right frame of mind. If you don't like children, if you can't be silly, then we're probably not the program for you. Well, that concludes our interview with Miss Infield from Altusay High School. 
We hope to see you in class. Stay safe out there. Practice good practices. Bye. Bye. And took sauce. <laughs> <laughs>